Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Texas Longhorns. Number 14 is a key component to this basketball franchise. He brings them a lot with his abilities, and he'll be looking to showcase those in today's game. Watch him on the floor tonight. Other players seem to be moving in slow-mo when he's on the court. Pair that speed with his ball handling skills, and it's just about impossible for his defenders to stay in front of him. The Longhorns will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Longhorns know they're looking at a good one tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them to win? I would think that the keys are as follows. First, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second of all, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. And finally, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Woodson handles the feed. Gave it up. Waters handles the pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Number 50 with the fake. Here's a spin down to the low block. I tell you, he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. They look to get it to the inside. Stolen pass. Hey, he read his eyes on that one, Brad. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Weaver receives the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Goes up for two. Nice shot. Trying to feed inside. He hacked him. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. Mack steps to the line for the first time. Misses the free one. Nice defensive rebound. They cleared ahead in transition. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Trying to draw the foul. Looking to move it around the perimeter. In the paint. Jumps in. The lay-in. Dumps it in. There they come with a double team to stop it. Dump it inside. He bombs from outside. Shots off the mark. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass sinks it showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense picked off for two up and in let's take a look right here Receives the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Easy one. He got 
the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Texas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. It's good. That double team looks very unstable. It's going to be a lot more forceful. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Trying to go inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Boston, Texas is going crazy, baby. On the inside, Bowen pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line, shooting two. Gets the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. Perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Texas have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. <laughs> Mack fakes the shot for two. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Stolen away. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Tries to get the D to bite. Double team now, bad angle. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. From the top of the key, goes in. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Drains it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And the ball goes out of bounds. There's a double team waiting there. Here's a flash from the high post. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. Lobs it inside. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. For the bucket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Texas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Look at this effort! Bowen is fired up and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Here's a double team. He's open if he wants the shot. He goes for three. Scorches the net. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He drains the shot. They'll work it around the arc. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook was so effective. Moving it around the perimeter, in the paint. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter for two. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries for two. In and out. Bowen draws the personal. He has a chance to cash him in. Good. Texas is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Misses the second shot. Rips down the rebound. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Stolen away. Long down court pass. He rips the Nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Doesn't go. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Looking around the perimeter. And it's basic. Goes up for 
two. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, what a strip, Red. Got a guy right on him. Kicks it out. There's a high screen. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. What a great play. Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nussler, that's a no-no. He'll go to the line. Rims out. He grabs the board. For two, perfectly executed. Hit the replay button on that one. There's the trap. Stolen away. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. He comes away with it. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Texas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense which is what we're seeing right now. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tanner makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number one comes in for his first go around tonight, Dick. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. Texas has had a lot of success over the last few years with the 2005 College World Series Championship, and then, of course, 2006 College Football National Championship. Well, they get some great athletes, Brad. Now they're looking for a few basketball championships of their own. They scored eight in a row. Coming inside. In the paint. And they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. They get it out into transition. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Looking for the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> feeling they change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. He shoots from long range. Way off target. Sets a screen for his teammate. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed.
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Off the rim and no good. He makes the block. Here they go into transition. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up, easy one. with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting up and inside oh poor job poor job offensively i'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck where's he going with a rejection Working it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Going to eliminate those turnovers. <laughs> Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Taken away. Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Got it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He up fakes. Turnaround jumper. I'll tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. The skip pass is picked off. Slam jam, bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Woodson buries the three-pointer. Shot clock is dead. Picks off the pass. Tries for two, perfectly executed. The ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. A 
attempts the Hail Mary. He can't get the hoop to fall. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. At the half, the Longhorns lead by 17. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Texas did a fabulous job of controlling the backboard in the first half, Dick. Hey, controlling is right, partner. They know if they dominate on the boards, the chance of pulling this one out is significantly higher. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. For the bucket, Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. There's the pick. There's the roll. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Entry pass in the paint. Up fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, even? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Nice fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Looks at the three. Gets it to fall. Good job defensively. They push it up on the break. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Puts it up. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Cross court. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. <laughs> Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. On the dribble, gives it up for two. 
I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He intercepts it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he'll kick it back outside. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He is going to the line. He makes it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Makes the second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Third shot is good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with the six man for no reason. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Eight seconds left on the shot clock. <laughs> Top of the circle. He drains the bucket. The Wildcats are trailing by 18. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Too much. That's a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Let's check in with Erin Andrews, man. What she's got in store for us, Erin? Well, Brian and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. <laughs> they work the perimeter. Takes the... Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Good. There's the fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Kansas State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Gave it up. 
Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the deuce. I tell you, great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He puts it up. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. And he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. off the lazy pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move's not going to work against the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Space it. For the bucket, Kansas State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Up and inside. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Launches the three. He hits the shot. Now in the half court, let's see what they set up, Dick. Intercepted. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. up for two. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. Hey, their football program has been successful over the years, but Hoops is making a name for itself. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. From beyond the arc, it sticks. Dump it inside. In the paint. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Oh. 
steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Or two. Great play to take that to the basket. The center has gone wild. Austin, Texas is going crazy, baby. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and the spin back the other way. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Basket's good, and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. He'll visit the charity strike. That's a nylon NBA. Wow, the screener is back to school on that pick. Goes up for two. Makes it. Working it around the perimeter. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He shoots from outside. He buries it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The center is going crazy. Austin, Texas is going crazy, baby. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle.
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. It's stolen. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. The Longhorns are up by four. Mack handles the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. He nails the shot. Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Waters handles the feed. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. Fakes a jumper with the fake. There's a double team waiting there. The shooting guard with the ball. Shoots. He hits the tough shot. Hunter's not going to down with ease, Brad. Bowen receives the pass. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. Hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Weaver receives the ball. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Throws it up. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He tries the three. He gets the bucket to fall. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. This is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Stolen. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them gap. They were in a groove, baby. And when they were in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Gets them both. The Longhorns call a timeout. And let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Great defense. 
The shooting guard gets the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Gave it up. Here we go on the break. For two, the lay-in. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. Picks off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Intercepted. Shot clock is dead. He shoots from the top of the key. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. With the free one. Gets it. Hits that one. All you need is a score and a stop to have a chance. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. He gets it to fall. And yet another foul as they just try to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. A chance for one and the bonus. No doubt. Second shot is no good. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. about ready to hit the floor. He puts it up at the... He got it! What a great shot just in the nick of time. And we're going to an extra session. Overtime, baby! Oh, we can stay here all day! What a clutch shot! He wanted the rock at the crucial moment, and he delivered! Don't head for the exits yet. These teams are headed into overtime. Here we go in OT, folks. This has turned out to be a whale of a game, Dick. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Drains it. Center 
takes the pass. Fakes the shot. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Boston, Texas is going crazy, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. The point guard takes the feed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Definitely a foul. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? And momentary look from three-point land. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Pushing that pass to the wall. What a high riser. He's the elevator man. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket, Kansas State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. For the deuce, he sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Steals the ball. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The man is off the charts, Brad. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the shot. <laughs> Robs him of the ball. It's a fast break possibility. Tries for two. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. The small forward gets the pass. Kicks it out. There's the trap. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Ten on the shot clock. On the outside, can't get a shot off in time, Dick. They couldn't get a shot off because they wasted too much time getting set up. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumped in front to take it away. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. Let's get back to the action. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Takes away the pass. Dick, this is one ball club that never says die. Hey, plays like that in the end of games like this can really make the difference, Brad. in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Looking for a good shot. They work the perimeter. Picked out of the air. He tries to beat the clock. He misses from beyond the arc. They're going to give us another period, Dick. Hey, one more may not even be enough, Brad. These teams want this game bad. After the first overtime, these teams are all even. This one could go right down to the wire. At this point in the game, block management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. There should be an easy bucket here. He gets that one to fall. Down in that post, facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. He hits the shot. Moving it around the perimeter for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Well, this is a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. On the dribble, gives it up. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. off the lazy pass. High post flashes. On the dribble, gives it up. He pulls the trigger. No good. Dump it inside. Leans in. Kansas State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. 
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Get ready to resume the action. The lead is now seven points. This game is still up for grabs, Brad. On the outside. From three-point land. Oh, yes! He intercepts it. Pushes it up. For the deuce. Up! Easy one! Again, a little one-man backcourt pressure. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Two with a lay-in. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Picked off. Tries for two. Finger roll. And yet another foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Makes the foul shot. Floor. We'll have a little break in the action here, partner, while both teams talk it over. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Got it. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. First one is no good. He hits the second shot. Picks off the pass. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. 
If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. He gets them both. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like, oh, yeah. Texas loses in overtime. They had a chance to win this one against a comparable team, but they ended up defeating themselves. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.